Right, so here we are in my demo classroom. We're going to have a look how we can direct add a Hangouts Meet or a Hangouts Chat to our classroom to allow our students to be outside of our classroom for distance learning or for students who can't make it into class for any reason. So on my classroom, I have my stream set up and you'll see here I have, I've posted some material called our class chat. So what I've done here is I've given it a name, I've some just added a description and here is the direct link to a Hangout Meet that when I click on it, it will jump straight into that video chat. So if I click on that, which is what a student would do, it will open up straight into Hangouts Meet and we can join that meeting. So how did I do it? Let's have a look here. In my calendar, I have an event set up. And that event, it has a Hangouts Meet attached to it. This pops up here, which we can copy the link. So let's click on copy the link. Let's go back to our classroom. So on my classroom, I can go to classwork or I can add it direct to the stream. If I go to classwork, I can add a topic to it. So if I go to classwork, I go create, I go material. It will open up the add material screen. Video chat. Let's put some capitals on there and on there. Thank you, spell check. So, pretty simple. I'm going to go to my add, I'm going to go to link. I can then simply paste in that link that I got from the calendar or direct from a Hangouts event as well. Add the link and down the bottom, we see it has now added the link to the chat. Now I could also choose to add a document to this, which might have some questions. I could put some questions in here. Question one. Is terrible today. So that is a question. We're going to add a bunch of questions before we get into that meet to allow the students to think about what they're going to do. We have the classroom we're going to add it to. We can choose the students. It's going to be all the students for this. We'll then click on a topic. So what's that topic going to be about? It's about the Lego City Rebuild. If we add no topic to this, it will simply sit at the top of our classwork and will stay there. So let's go Lego City Rebuild. We can then post. Now remember when we post, we can also choose this to schedule our post for ahead of time. So if this is happening on Tuesday's 22nd of April, maybe I'll schedule it to post on Monday the 21st. We can save a draft and come back to it, but let's just do a simple post. So we post this to our material. So you see now under Lego City Rebuild, Video chat for Tuesday 22nd of April is there. If we want to reorder these, we can click and drag and drop them under there. So we can reorder how things sit in here. We can also grab a whole topic and click and drag that around. So we can move that around in our classroom. As I was saying before, at the top are the things that have no topic attached to them. So they will stay at the top of the screen. On the side are our topics. So if we just wanted to see things about the intro, we can click on that and it will just give us the intro. If we want to see about Lego City Rebuild, that'll give us just Lego City Rebuild or all topics will take us back to our stream. Now, if we have added something to a calendar, which I have over here, so this is where I got that Hangouts Meet from. It was added to a calendar. It was also copied to my classroom. So you can copy that to a Google Classroom. You can copy it to multiple Google Classrooms. Now, because I've done that, it will put it into that Classroom's calendar. So let's have a look at what I mean there. If I go back to my Classroom, I go to my People tab, it will show us all the people that are in there. If I'm on my Classwork tab, then over here is my Google Calendar link. If I click on that, it will open the calendar for this Classroom. Now I can see that there is that 
event I put, which has the Hangouts Meet in there as well. So we can jump into our calendar from our classroom. Whenever you add things to a classroom calendar, it will appear on here on the Google Calendar for that classroom. So a couple of ways you can add a video chat. You can do it via the calendar or you can do it via a link in here. Now this one down here, I've added a judgment call about Emmett from Lego City, his personality and influence. I'm going to answer this question and then join the class chat. If the students then can click on here and go into the class chat at the appropriate time. So this is a way we can add Hangouts Chat or Hangouts Meet to a Google Classroom to allow distance learning or students who are outside of the classroom to jump into that classroom. It doesn't matter where you are, you can allow people to add themselves to this by using that. Hopefully this helps and you understand how you can now add Hangouts Chat or Hangouts Meet to your Google Classroom.